Hello, my name is Liam Kenny. For the next five minutes, I will be teaching you about the guitar. So first, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a history of the guitar. So the guitar uh, can be traced back to about 4,000 years ago. Many theories have been advanced about the instrument's ancestry. Um, it's often believed that it originated from the lute. However, a study in 1960s showed that these claims were wrong, um, and that the lute was a separate branch of, uh, like, a tree of evolution. And the guitar's forefathers had a great influence on the lute, but the lute and the guitar aren't directly related at all. So the song that's playing right now is Rock Around the Clock, and it's a little bit of an older song, uh, 1930s. And it was one of the first kind of modern day songs that contained the guitar that became very popular very fast, and it was on the top charts for a long time. In the video that's about to come up, you're going to see five people playing the guitar. Ignore the one that's drumming on the guitar. I'm going to explain why the sound they're all making on the same guitar are different. The three factors that affect the sound the guitar makes are the tension, length, and thickness of the string. As you can all see, the people are playing around with these factors to make different sounds. The thicker the string, the lower the frequency, so a lower pitch. The thinner the string, a higher frequency. Uh, you also get a higher frequency when you have a shorter string length or a more taut string, which is why people are pressing down at different positions on the guitar. Another important thing to know about the guitar is that when a note is struck correctly, it forms a standing wave. In this video, you can see that when the strings are struck, they form that standing wave pattern. When you put tension on the string, you are changing to a different harmonic as you are changing the string length. This is why it is important to make sure your guitar is always properly tuned or else these standing waves will not form as the properties of the median will change, meaning that different lengths will be needed to create the standing waves. You can also see that the harder the man strums, the higher the amplitude of the waves, the louder the sound. Now, to talk about how the guitar amplifies sound. If it was just the string, the sound would be barely, if not audible, to the human ear, which is why we need the guitar. The string vibrating causes the bridge, the black thing that the strings are connected to near the bottom of the guitar, to vibrate, which in turn causes the top of the wooden body to vibrate. This large surface compresses the air inside the guitar as it is vibrating. As we know, the intensity is larger when the area is larger, we can determine that when the vibrations are transferred to the wood, the sound will become much louder, which it does. Okay, for your first shape, it's going to be um, open D, open A, fifth fret on your D, fourth fret on your G, open uh, B and high E. The guitar is not very different from other string instruments that are plucked and the way it produces sound. It is more dependent on the properties of the string. For example, if we compare the ukulele to the guitar, we can tell that the sound a ukulele produces is much higher in pitch, which is because the strings are shorter and thinner. Thank you for watching my video. If you have any more questions or don't quite understand uh, how the guitar produces sound or how it works, I'm gonna put two links at the end of the video that you can refer to after. Thank you for watching.